Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a drawing for the book The Love Monster by Rachel Bright. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating two monsters, the boy monster and the girl monster. If you take your paper and you lay it landscape that's long ways, then we can fit both of the monsters side by side. So I want you guys to go ahead and use a pencil and then you guys can go over your pencil marks um, with your Sharpie when you are ready. So on your paper, I want you to start on this side here and I want you to draw two ears. So we're going to go two triangle shapes here and here. Now he's a little fuzzy monster, so we want to draw some hair in between his head. So just draw a little tiny line over and just put some little hair in between the two ears. Now we're going to draw a little line down and a little line down over on this side. We're going to give him an arm and let's give him three fingers like he has in the book. So one finger, two fingers, and three fingers and you can see how you can overlap them like that. Bring that arm up and his other arm is actually going to be holding hands with the other monster so let's bring our arm out to the side and we're going to just put it as a circular shape like that. Now bring the legs down and let's draw the feet. There are three toes on each foot and they are circular shapes so we're going to go one two, three, one, and let's overlap this one, two, and three. All right, now go ahead and draw the split between the legs. And on each of the toes, he had a funny little toenail. So let's draw our little triangle shapes for our little toenails. All right, good job. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add the eyes. So let's do our two big googly eyes and we're going to do a large smiling mouth. So he was, we're going to make him actually looking over to this side at the girl monster and if you just go circle, circle, circle and leave yourself that little highlight, it will look just right. Now you can give him some teeth. They can be bigger or smaller little triangles, just a nice jaggedy row of teeth and then give him a little heart here just like in the story. So now we want to add our girl. Let's go ahead and add her ears. Ear number one, ear number two, and she's not quite as fuzzy as he is so we're just gonna go straight across with maybe like a little curve right there. All right bring her head down and tuck her hand into his hand like this. Go ahead and bring this part down and we're gonna add her fingers. So again Bring it down to almost across the page where you know that her hand would be and let's do the same thing for her. One finger, two fingers, three fingers. Now go ahead and bring that line up and lines down for her body. Line down and one, two, three, one, two, three line between the legs and let's add our little toenails on her as well. All right and she also has a heart. Let's give her her heart and her eyes. Now the main difference between this monster and the original character in the book is that she has eyelashes. So we get to add one, two, and three one, two, and three. And we want her eyes to look towards him. So let's make the eyes on this side of our circle. Ah, isn't that sweet? Now you get to do the coloring portion. So you guys can decide what color you want this to be. I think I'm going to make her a pink color. So I'm going to use some of my markers. And remember when you do outlining that you kind of want to outline around your your sections first and that way then when you do some of your coloring in it will be a lot easier 
And again, you guys can use whatever you have at home. You can use markers like I'm doing, or you can use crayons and colored pencils, or even watercolors, which is what I originally like to teach this lesson when I'm in school. Now in the book, the boy monster is actually red. So I'm going to go ahead and make him a red color. And I'm going to look for another color of pink for my girl monster to finish her up. And again, you guys can choose whatever colors that you want your little monsters to be. I might even go and add a little bit of orange inside of her. And it's okay to change up colors and decide what you want your yours to be. And you know, sometimes when you transition your um, marker colors, it kind of turns out really cute. It almost feels like you get to play with watercolors after all. And when I transition colors, I basically, I do part of my picture and then I leave it white and I pick up where I left off. So if I want part of this picture to be orange, maybe the top and the bottom, I think I want it to be like orange. I'm going to go around those teeth really carefully because we want to keep those teeth nice and bright white. All right, I think I'm good with that. And I think I'm gonna transition now into a lighter pink that I have here. All right, and then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end it with a little bit of yellow. And remember, they're kind of fluffy. These little monsters, they have a lot of fur on them. So if you make your um, your line marks on there, it, it, it's okay to have some line marks on this one because they are these fluffy little furry monsters. In fact, if you wanted to go back through and add some little lines for fur, you could do that as well. Now I'm going to look for a red color for my other monster. And I'm going to do all his outlining first. And the heart on him in the book is actually a blue color, so I'm going to choose a blue for his little heart. And sometimes I like to um, add like a darker color all around the edge, so I might choose this as my outline color, and then I might choose a, a lighter shade of red for the inner part but again remember these cho these choices when it comes to coloring it's always going to be up to you to decide how do you want to color it what color do you want it to be when when you do art you get to be the illustrator and you get to make these choices it doesn't have to be just like the book sometimes i like to read books and look at art just to get ideas and to get a little inspiration All right, now I'm going to switch. Let's see what I have as far as different colors of red. I think I have an orangish red. I'm going to use this and see what, how that turns out. Oh yeah, that's just a little, a little different. Just a little variety is just enough to go a long way. I think I'll fill in some of his belly with this color and I was thinking it would be kind of cute to bring some of the orange from her into him 
so they can match a little bit. Remember, there's no rules in art. You get to choose. I'm going to leave those little toenails, that white color, and his teeth. And I'm going to go ahead now and add the blue in the little hearts. Let me find a color that I think is a good shade of blue. Oh, this is a pretty one. Ah. All right, guys, I hope you guys had a really fun time with me today drawing the little love monster. And if you'd like, we can add that word on here so you can remember what story it was that we got this from. The, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a heart for my O, love monster. And if you decide you end up really liking that book, they have a lot more by Rachel Bright. Um, she's done quite a few more uh, stories with the same characters. So I hope you enjoyed today and I will see you guys later. Bye.